What up, everybody? Either though Power Book 2 Ghost has concluded without the return of James St. Patrick, in my opinion, this doesn't change anything. Because according to the actors from the show, Season 4 wasn't supposed to be the final season. Not to mention that there was a lot going on around the time they were filming Season 4. It was said they got done filming Season 4 just minutes before the writer's strike went into effect. Meaning likely the final season was rushed somewhat. And a lot of people have said that it seemed rushed. So because of the actors and the writer's strike, they end up having to cancel the show because it was already Star's most expensive show, costing reportedly around $13 million an episode to produce. Because of that, the show got canceled. Then a couple months later, it was announced that Season 3 would be the final season of Power Book Force, with Star's plan on creating new spinoffs moving forward. Force showrunner Gary Lennon recently received a multi-year deal to create expansions of the Power Universe. And because the final season of Force wasn't rushed and they planned it to be the final season, I think there's a better chance that Ghost will return on the final season of Power Book Force. Keep it in mind that Omari Hardwick said in an interview about a year and a half ago that Stars has already asked him to come back. But since then, there's been a lot of tension between 50 Cent and Omari Hardwick, with 50 finally responding to Omari's lack of pay allegations by saying stuff like he feels like Omari overvalues himself. But I think this could all just be gas trolling us to make us think that Ghost isn't coming back, so we'll be more surprised when he actually does. Because something else that was also reported in the same article that announced that Gary Lennon had received a multi-year deal to create expansions of the Power franchise was that Star's plans to create new and unexpected franchise extensions for Power fans. The key word to keep in mind here is unexpected franchise extensions because we already knew that new spinoffs are coming. But what is these unexpected franchise extensions? Is this talking about the return of Ghost? Then the whole 50 Omari beef is just to make it where we're no longer expecting Ghost to return to the Power Universe. So just like there was that final phone call from Tariq in the credits of Power Book 2 Ghost, I think in the final episode of Force, Ghost will either return or he'll stay MIA even in Force, but the credit scenes will show that Ghost is alive and set up the new unexpected Ghost spinoff, where they can either start the show off by showing us how Ghost survived or use flashbacks throughout the series to reveal to us how he survived piece by piece. Getting me to the clues that I wanted to discuss in this video about Ghost being alive, the Mecha and Lobos clues. Because there's obvious clues that Ghost is alive, primarily the fact that they never confirmed his death with a body. Then they even threw in the hint with Unique on Raising Kane and telling Marvin that if that body doesn't show up, he ain't dead. And yes, they had a whole burial service but that means absolutely nothing, especially if it was the U.S. government that helped Ghost fake his death like I suspect and have talked about multiple times in other videos. Some of y'all might have watched the series Prison Break. If you haven't, it's a good series to binge during the power hiatus. But in this show, a man went to prison for killing the vice president's brother. Except the man didn't actually kill him. He was being set up by the U.S. government who faked the vice president's brother's death. And he was still alive being held in secret somewhere. I believe it was in Montana. I said that because they had a whole funeral service for this man and everything. Just like they did for ghosts. This man's supposed body was even exhumed. And the teeth were tested and came back as the vice president's brother. Because they made him remove his teeth. In the same type of way, I believe that the Democratic Party went through the same links to thank the death of James St. Patrick. Because he was about to get arrested by Blanca Rodriguez. And it would expose that they were about to let a murdering drug dealer on their ticket. In season 2 of Power, Ghost was desperately trying to get out the game. And had just recently found out that Angela was a fed after smashing her all of season 1. But he used this to his advantage to help him try to get out the game. Angela cloned Ghost's foes and did a whole bunch of shady things to try to take down Lobos one way or another. Whether Ghost would have been taken down with him or not. So the day when Ghost and Tommy were supposed to be meeting up with Lobos to bring him a couple mil, Angela was on Ghost's trail, just like he planned. Lobos and Tommy both got arrested, and Lobos' lieutenant was killed. All while Ghost watched the whole thing go down, 
knowing he'd be able to get Tommy out of jail because they used Isabel Ruiz, a minor, to complete the sketch. So Ghost got Tommy out of jail, and while Lobos was inside, the final move was to take Lobos and get out the game clean once and for all. The problem is that Lobos survived this hit and knew it was Ghost who tried to kill him, either though Ghost tried to plan the whole thing on the Jimenez. But after this, the feds used this to their advantage and fake Lobos' death themselves with the plan of giving him a John Doe trial. Everybody thought that Lobos was dead, especially Ghost. Tommy found out that Lobos was alive first because Lobos called him. And later Ghost found out that Lobos was alive when Joe Proctor found out. And then later on, Angela even admitted it to him, knowing that breaking confidentiality that Lobos was still alive could have cost her her job. But while Lobos was in custody, and after they faked his death, they froze all his assets and did everything to make it look like to anyone on the outside looking in that Lobos was in fact dead. The other clue I want to talk about in this video is along the same lines as the government faking Lobo's death to try him as a John Doe. And that is the death of Mecca. Mecca did die and it was confirmed to be dead when Blanc was standing over his body. But the clue actually came the next season from Noma's ex-husband Francesco Lombardi. In Ghost Season 3, Noma had Tariq and the crew retrieving a listening device that Mecca had planted in Francesco Lombardi's mansion. But when trying to retrieve this listening device, Braden got caught and was taken hostage by Lombardi and his soldiers. Because of this, Tariq and Effie had to use the only leverage that they had, which was the listening device. The next day when they met up with Lombardi, Tariq gave him the listening device. Lombardi grabbed Tariq and put him in an armbar and started demanding that Tariq tell him who he worked for. It was at this point Lombardi gave us the clue that Ghost is still alive. He asked him if they worked for Mecca and then he asked Tariq if Mecca was still alive. Why would Lombardi ask Tariq if Mecca was still alive when it had already been reported that he was dead? There was even reports on the news saying that Mecca was dead, calling him an international businessman. Yet Lombardi still wasn't convinced that Mecca was dead, keeping in mind who Lombardi was. Lombardi was an oil tycoon who Noma called her biggest arms competitor. And I believe that Lombardi was a high-ranking member of the real Italian mafia Cosa Nostra. Someone that high on the food chain likely rubs shoulders with certain government leaders like Noma was doing and knows that they are capable of faking someone's death. So just like Mecca's death was all over the news, so was Ghost. And just like it was said that Mecca worked for the government and was basically untouchable, Ghost got put in the same position when running for lieutenant governor. Stephen Ott was quoted as saying, James St. Patrick is now property of the Democratic Party. And just like Lobo's death was faked for his own protection, Ghost's death was faked by the Democratic Party as damage control for as little as Ghost's background information to get out as possible, and for none of it to be confirmed, and all of it to be just speculation. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.